Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you uh, how to create the different types of input field. Here you can see that on the Facebook there are many types of the field where we can input the password and the email and some other things. So now I am going to teach you how to create the input fields like this password for the emails and the telephone numbers and the all other things so now first of all I'm gonna create the input field of type password here is the password so now you can input the password in it here you can input the letters and the alphabet and all these things are converted into the static and the other thing is the checkbox you can also create the checkbox in many when we are installing the software so there is a checkbox present which says that i accept the agreements and all the things so you can create a checkbox like this you can tick it and you can also create the label for it here you can create that label and the text and the next thing is uh, you can also create a input field of type button so then a button is created this is a empty button and you can give it the value here I'm going to give it the value uh, click so now here you can see that and the next thing is the number you can also create an input field of type number where you can input the number here this is the field you can input the number and also the alphabets but here you are also able to specify the range of the numbers here here you can also specify the range of the numbers here I have corrected and here you can see that you can able to put the numbers only in this field but you can also able to specify the range of the numbers here I'm gonna write minimum and minimum number is 0 and the max number is the 10 and here I am also gonna give it a name the name is test so now here is the field and here you can see that this is the lowest value and this is the highest value and you can also create the value for this when you load the page so that number is present in that field here I'm gonna give it 9 and here you see that when we load it so the 9 is present and you can also create the step so first of all what is the step the step is just a jump uh, when we click on this button so here you see that the 10 is converted into the 9 and 9 is converted into the 8 so this is it have the one step and you can create a step of two or three values here I'm gonna give it the step of three values so now when we click on it so it reduce the value by three here you can see that it increase or reduce by three values and the next thing is the date you can also create a input field of type date here I'm gonna create the date and now let's check it and here you are able to input the dates and all things here you can see that you can change it you can change anything and you can also able uh, to specify the minimum and maximum date here I'm gonna give the minimum date is uh, 2000 is the year and then hyphen and then uh, 12 month and then 6 day and 6 December 2000 and the maximum date is the 2016 and the month is uh, August that is the 8 and then hyphen and then 6 is the day here is the 6 day so now let's load it and 
and now here you can see the minimum date here I'm gonna uh, put the years here is the minimum date here I'm gonna select the minimum date and here you can see that the minimum date is 2000 so it cannot goes down to the minimum date so here is a little error we have not write the day in the two digits here I'm gonna write six day here is the 26 August so now let's load it and now here here you can see that it cannot goes up to the 2016 here is the 2016 and here you can see that this is the December and we cannot go beyond it 2016 we can not go above the 2016 and we can also not go above the 2000 here you can see that this is the 2000 and when we click on it so it return to the 2016 and now this remove this step and value and you can also give the value in the same format first year and then a month and then day like this here I'm gonna give it the value uh, 2013 month is 7th 07 and then the day is 5th so now let's load it so here is the value 5th July uh, so now here I'm I want to tell you another thing that is you can also give the date time here I'm gonna remove it and show you how you can give the date time date time local in uh, uh, the full syntax is the date time local so now you can clear it so here you can see that here you can able to select the date and then here is the minutes and here is the hours and here is the am pm you can select the time and the date and the next thing is the color you can also input the color here is the color here is the color picker when we click on it so you can select any color and the other thing is the time you can only able to put the time here you can select the time and odds and all the things you are also able to put the week it shows the full calendar you can also able to put the month and all the things here is the one is the month or sorry one uh, one uh, this is the first week if we select any date so it shows it is the second week of the 2016 so in this way you can put the week and you can also input the month here here you can see that here when I put the seven date so it shows that this is the date this is the January of 2016 and you can also input that number tell defines the telephone number here you can input the telephone number or any alphabet and then you can also create a search field where you can where we can search the things in our website for this you have to use the PHP you can also give it the type of the URL here is the URL you can input the URL HTTPS and all thing www dot and you can also input the email here you can able to input the email 
so this is the way how we can input the different values in the form and in my next lecture I'm gonna discuss the attribute of the input fields how to disable the input field how to uh, make the input field for read only how to place the placeholder like this this is a placeholder first name last name this text is a placeholder how to apply the required attribute for the different fields so let's see in the next lecture if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can